Hi, and namaste. And welcome to this trauma-sensitive yoga somatics session. In today's session, the focus is on the upper back, shoulders, and neck complex. We'll also use techniques to ground and release anxiety. So my daughter, Anna Christina, is joining us today. She will demonstrate as I talk you through the poses. Please come onto your mat. You can cover your mat with a blanket. And you might like to slide a blanket or a pillow under your head. You want to be comfortable. You want to be very comfortable. So begin in just a passive, passive position. We'll start by just checking in. So as you rest, start at the bottom of your feet. And notice any sensations that are present there. Naming them, it could be hot or cold, tingly. Just bear witness, but without being attached. And you let the awareness draw up through your legs. You feel the calves. And you can toggle from one calf to the other. And again, let there be an awareness of any sensation. Bear witness. As you continue up through the back of the legs, through the hips, Again, describing what you are sensing is to feel your body resting on the mat. You may encounter an area that is really loud. And allow yourself to draw to another area that you know has ease. You can toggle gently back and forth. Acknowledging the sensation. But then go back to an area where there was ease. As you move from the hips to the pelvis, and the lower abdomen. Again, sensing the lower abdomen and the low back. Drawing up to the upper back, the shoulders, the arms, hands and fingers. Sense the neck, the jaw, the eyes, The skin on the face. Notice if you're holding tension in any of these areas. Just invite there to be a sense of softening. We'll bend out the knees and we'll place the feet on the mat. It might be really nice to have another blanket or towel to place under your feet. So let the heels be on the blanket, on the mat, but let the feet just rest on the other blanket. That can help with a sense of grounding and a little bit more ease in the ankle. Now draw the awareness to your breath. Breathing in and breathing out. It's with anything we do, you are in control. You choose to do or to not do. Let there be gentle effort, but no strain in your movements. Sometimes we imagine a movement 
without putting load on the muscles, but still allows the motor nerves and sensory nerves to rehabilitate. So now as you begin to deepen the breath, feel the belly softly expanding into the palms of your hands. The belly expands on the in-breath and then softens down towards the spine or the mat as you exhale. Breathing in, there's a sense of expansion. The belly lifts. And as you breathe out, the belly softens down. I invite the exhalation to elongate. And keep the in-breath the same. And notice if you feel a sense of strain in the breath, back off, just back off. So the exhalation stretches out just ever so slightly in an even way. From beginning through the middle to the end of the out breath. Breathing in to the belly. And slow exhalation. When we slow down the exhalation while inviting the breath into the abdomen, we are communicating to our nervous system that all is well. So muscle tension begins to release. We take the body out of the fight or flight response. Anytime during the practice, you can return to this place or any other place that has comfort to you. On the next in-breath, I invite you to lift the low back, so arching the low back away from the floor into a gentle back bend. And as you exhale slowly, release back to neutral. Take a buffer breath. And then as you inhale, well again, contract the muscles on the low back. You'll lift away from the floor, sense the movement. And then as slowly as you can, float back to neutral. Buffer breath in between, let everything just pull. And we'll do it one more time. We'll inhale. Arch the low back. Muscle contracts, we sense that. And then slowly release. Now let's take a complete breath in and out. And then take a breath in for nothing. And then as you exhale, let's flatten the low back by hollowing out the belly. And slowly release back to neutral. We'll take a full breath in and out. And again, in breath for nothing. And exhale, flattening, pull the belly in and up so the belly hollows out. And then as slowly as you can, let go of this contraction. And we'll take again a buffer breath. 
And one more time, in breath for nothing, and then exhale, fold the abdomen in and out. Feel the contraction. And then slowly and evenly, letting go. Let's combine these two movements. We'll take a buff of breath. And then on the in-breath, let's arch the low back again. Floating back to neutral on the exhalation. Take a breath in for nothing. And exhale, flattening the low back. We return to neutral on the in-breath. And we take a breath out for nothing. And as we inhale, we arch again. So moving in a manner at a speed that is comfortable for you. Feel the muscle engages and then feel them, sense them release. Let's do one more full round. Arching. Returning to neutral. Breath in for nothing. And flattening. And as you come back to neutral, now I'm going to remove the blanket and straighten your legs out again. Straighten the legs out again. And relax the arms along the sides and just sense what might have changed from when we began till now. Maybe there's no change at all. There are no right or wrong answers. Now gently Begin to roll your legs in and out. Just a gentle sweeping movement. So like the gentle movement of grasses in the wind. That is gentle effort, but again, no strain. And allow the movement to be fairly brisk. As brisk as is comfortable for you. So like you're shaking out. You're just shaking it out. Not the hip joint. Sweeping in and out, in and out. Go as fast as you can. As fast as you want to. Again, remember you are in absolute control of your experience. And then we'll just let the legs relax. Take a cleansing breath in and out. And we'll bend up the knees again. And we'll take the arms straight out to the side. We'll do a little knuckle slide. Let's slide right arm away from the trunk and then just let it slink back. It's not a big movement. Then we'll go to the left side. And you will just move gently between the two sides. Inhale, we slide the knuckle away. And exhale, and we return to center. Notice if one side feels different than the other. Observing, not judging, not criticizing, just generating awareness. Now, as you reach out through the arm again, slide the opposite shoulder blade towards the spine and then let everything release to neutral. And then go to the other side. Arm slides out. And then we return. 
feel the shoulder blades traveling in the same direction. One will move towards the spine and one will move away from the spine. Let's bend us on the left side. Now let's walk the feet a little bit wider than the hips. And then as you inhale, let the knees release down to one side and turn the head in the opposite side. And we'll exhale to center. And inhale to the other side. Just moving in a smooth and easy way. So this mimics the arch and flat and we began with. So let there be a little bit of arch in the low back as you go down, and a little bit of flattening as you return to center. We're moving with your breath, inhaling down and exhaling up. Making it smooth and easy. And then let's do just one more round. And then as you come up, we'll walk the feet in. Then we'll interlace the hands behind the head. And you may want to remove the blanket at this point, or you might like it to be exactly as it is. So do again what feels good. Now as you inhale, gently press the elbows towards the floor. And then slowly just let it go. As you exhale, take a buffer breath and then press the elbows down again. Sense the shoulder blades drawing onto the back ribs and gently release. Buffer breath. One more time, press the elbows down. Returning to neutral. Now as you exhale next, flatten the low back and then draw the elbows in. So it's a gentle flatten, squeeze the elbows in. Now as slowly as you can, release the elbows towards the floor. That may take more than one breath. Perfectly fine. Once you come down, take a buffer breath in and out. And then as you inhale, we'll press the elbows down again, pressing the elbows into the floor. And exhale, draw the elbows up as you flatten the back, squeeze the elbows together. Slow, release the elbows down. And notice if there are little jumps and jitters. This is absurd and say, okay, there are little jumps and jitters. Now again, inhale, press the elbows down. And we're gonna exhale. We're gonna draw the elbows in and curl the head and the top of the shoulders up as we flatten the back. And then inhale, releasing the head down, elbows out to the sides. And then as you inhale, now draw the chin away from the chest as you arch the low back. Lift the low back, elbows will come down, chin stretches away from the chest. And exhale, we curl up again. Flatten the back, elbows, hugs in, head and tops of the shoulders lift. Slowly lowering down.
And then if you want, take a puff of breath in between. We'll do one more inhale. We'll arch the back. Chin stretches back. Elbow. Elbows are down. There you go. And then exhale, flat, and then draw the elbows up. Head lift. I'm going to add a diagonal. So draw the right elbow towards the left knee. Right elbow, left knee, and we come back. Elbows releases out. Chin stretches away from the chest as you inhale and arch the back. And exhale, flattening, elbows in. And go diagonal, now left elbow, right knee. Slowly release back down. So we're just adding and changing a little bit at a time. We're still staying close to the same principle. Arch the low back, elbows presses down, chin away. Then exhale, coming up again. We'll do one more round of the diagonal. So you exhale and flatten the low back. Elbows draws up. Lifting the head and then twisting it to one side. Come back to center, releasing down for the arch, the chin stretches back. And then last time, we'll draw, flattening again. And draw the elbows in, lifting up and then twisting to the right side. Let's relax down. This time we'll relax the arms, relax the legs. We'll pause. Let's let everything go. Let there be a sense of the whole body breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. And again, notice if there are any sensations calling out. Is it very loud and demanding? Go to another place in your body where there is ease. Allow your mind to rest there. Now rolling the right leg out and then slide the heel up into a little tree pose. So the heel just slides up and then slides out again. It slides back out, back to neutral, and then the left leg turns out, slides up, and back out again. And just go from side to side, roll the right leg out, slide the heel up the floor. Slide the heel back out. And left heel rolls out, heel slides up, catch the blanket. You're just sliding from side to side. Slide the heel up, slide it back out. So it's just a hip movement, hip flexion and rotation. You can notice sensation. Notice if one side feels different. Let's do a couple more times on each side. Sliding the leg up and keep the heel in contact with the floor the whole time. Just pause. Pause again. Let everything go. Cool. 
And we'll bend up the knees again. And we'll reach out through the arms. Three out, reach out through the arms. And then as slowly as you can, I'll count up to 20. We'll bring the arms up where the palms will meet one another, counting to 20. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now just slide the right arm up a little higher. And then let it slide back down and slide the left arm up. And back down, go back and forth. So sliding one arm up, feel the shoulder blades moving on the back. And we slide out and back. Moving with your breath, just keep going. Feel the shoulder blades widening on the back. And then we'll breathe across the right elbow over the left. Cross the right elbow over the left. And then bend the elbows. And either twirl the forearms together for eagle arms. If this is uncomfortable, just hold the shoulders instead. So the elbows are drawn up towards the face, up towards the face. That's all a little rounding on the upper back. Let's cross the right leg over the left. Cross the right leg over the left. So the knees are going to draw to the right side. The elbows are going to draw to the left side. So a little teeny twist. And it's not a big move. Maybe four or five inches. And we come back to center. And inhale. Again, elbows move away from the knees. And the nose will go in the same direction as the knees. Same direction as the knees. And return to center. Moving with your breath. Legs go right, elbows left. And just move with your breath. So legs go right, elbows left. Legs go right, the other way. Yeah. So we're only going to one side. So we get into the back of the shoulders. And get a little bit of the outer hip. But what we really get is a ringing around the spinal column. Let's do two more times. And then after that second time, let's switch across of the legs and the arms. And now the legs will go left, elbows right, and gaze to the left as well. So knees and nose travel in the same direction. Inhale and draw away from center. And exhale, returning to center. Again, this is not a big move. Maybe four or five inches. If even that, remember, you are in control. So knees will draw to the left, arms to the right, nose to the left.
So ringing out right around the spinal column. We carry a lot of tension here. While we also visit with the outer right hip and the outer left of the back of the left shoulder. Let's do a couple of more times. And after which we'll unhook the legs. We'll finish off whenever you're ready. <laughs> that was good. Relax again the legs long. Relax the arms alongside the body. And sense again. So wait, watch, and listen. As we do this work, things change. And we just observe. Just observe it. So a little bit more work with the shoulder blades. So your right shoulder. You can imagine you have a crayon or that your right shoulder blade is made of crayon. And you're going to start drawing little circles with your right shoulder blade. These teeny little circles. Like it's a compass. And you just make him these little circles. You're doodling with your shoulder blades. And just choose either clockwise or counterclockwise. It doesn't matter. Just go in one direction. And make it the right size for you. And then you can begin to maybe make the circles a little bit bigger. So the arms is going to travel around with as you move the shoulder. So you're just drawing, you're keeping the shoulder blade on the mat the whole time. So you're just drawing circles, round circles on the mat. You feel the right shoulder blade moving these circles. So again, it's not a humongous movement, but you may notice that some movement. Movements are easier than others. And again, if there's irritation, discomfort, or pain, allow yourself to back off. Backing off. I'm making the circles as big as you can. But keep the shoulder blade in contact with the floor the whole time. Not lifting up. Staying on the mat, just scrubbing against the floor. Yeah, we're going to let that go. And just feel the right shoulder compared to the left shoulder. And then let's do the left shoulder blade. So again, maybe imagine that you have a crayon on your shoulder blade and you're just drawing circles starting small then they make the circles bigger and bigger and keeping the shoulder blade in contact with the floor the entire time gentle effort but no strain no force Coloring in this big circle. It's doing circles, circles, and circles. You can experiment with this going the opposite direction. It's a great movement to unstick the shoulder blades. Letting that go. Relax the shoulders completely. Let's let them pull again. Sense the shoulder blades as they rest against the mat. And now without a whole lot of effort, you're going to roll over onto your belly. So if you swing your left arm overhead, 
And just roll over onto your belly. Move the blanket out of the way. Moving the blanket out of the way. We'll take the left arm down the long side. We'll take the right arm up and let the, the, your chin or cheek rest on the back of your right hand. So your right arm is just out to the side. And you are looking at your right elbow. Now, as you inhale, lift the head and look over your right shoulder, looking over your right shoulder. And then slowly, slowly releasing down. Let your hips help you out. So as you again lift up, let the hips lift up a little bit. Let's take a buff of breath in between, in between. So let everything relax completely. And then as you inhale, lifting the head, looking over the shoulder, lifting the hips, and then let everything relax down. Buffer breath. And then lifting again. And then we'll add the arm. So as you inhale, lift the head and the arm. So the whole arm lifts up, the hand stays on the cheek, and then slowly lowering down. Buffer breath in between, and then lifting again. As slowly as you can, lower down. Let's add the left leg. Inhale, arm and head and left leg lifts. Slowly, 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 lowering down. Buffer breath, we're gonna do it one more time. Head, arm, leg. And then slowly lowering down. Let everything cool. And then we'll switch to the other side. And we start with the head, lifting the head, looking over the shoulder. And then as slowly as you can, lowering down. Notice the muscles that are contracting. Lifting the head without using the arm to push him down. So only lift as high as is comfortable for your body. So we'll take a buffer breath in between. And explore and experiment. Why does it help lifting the hips as you lift the head? The muscles that we're using to lift the head attaches to the sacrum. So we get access the whole way. Just add the arm. So now it's a little bit heavier to say the least. So maybe you won't come as high. Gentle effort, no strain. Lifting on the in-breath. Slowly, slowly, slowly lowering down. Let's add the leg, right leg. As slowly as you can, lowering down. Full breath in and out. Let's do it again. And we'll lower all the way down. Now let's take the right arm up and put it on top of the left hand. Forehead just rests on the back of the hands. Many of you know this, the cobra crocodile. We'll tuck the toes under. Creep the toes to the nose, toes to the nose. They won't go very far. I'm going to press back through the heel so the knees are lifting up. Press the hips down. And then inhale, lift the head and peel the belly towards the heart. So press the forearms down and then pull the belly skin forward. Pull the belly skin forward. Powerful legs, powerful legs. And then slowly lower down. Let everything relax. Let everything relax. I'm going to do that just one more time. 
We'll tuck the toes under again. Creep the toes to the nose. Press the heels back, knees are lifting, hips are pressing down, and then inhale, press the forearms down. And keep the head down relatively low so the gaze is towards the floor so there's no strain in the neck. That can be in a neutral. But as you press the forearms down, peel the belly flesh forward, peel the belly, and you feel a deep stretch in the lower abdomen. And exhale, lower down. And just straighten one arm forward and roll over that shoulder to come back onto your back. And then again, relaxing the legs long. And now if you are right-handed, you're gonna follow these instructions that I give you now. If you're left-handed, you're gonna to switch to the other side. So right-handed, you're gonna cross the left leg over the right. If you're left-handed, you're gonna cross the right leg over the left. Now let's take the arms up, right handed, you're gonna cross, arms are straight up to the sky. And right hand, you're gonna have your palms facing towards one another. And you're gonna cross the right arm over the left. Again, if you are right, if you're left handed, you're gonna cross the left arm over the right. So just cross at the wrist, and then turn the palms down and interlace the fingers. Turn the palms down, interlace the fingers. And let's draw the hands up under the arms and let your hands come to rest on your chest. And just place your arms in a way that's comfortable. And if this is uncomfortable, you can take your arms all the way across and just let them rest in a hug. And now here we're working with the breath. As you inhale, let there be a sense of the tongue floating up to the roof of the mouth. And as you exhale, let the tongue relax down, exhaling through the mouth. Unhinge the jaw. Inhale through the nose and the tongue floats up slightly. And exhale, tongue relaxes down as the jaw relaxes. We're settling into this rhythm. This very gentle effort. Move, breathing in through the nose. Breathing out through the mouth. Allowing the jaw to soften and release a little bit when you eat time, a little bit more eat time you exhale. And we'll do about five or six breaths. But again, remember you are in control. And after your last breath, release the arms, release the legs. And have the feet maybe slightly wider than the hips. Allow the arms to just roll open in an easy way so the back of the shoulders feel connected and grounded. Breathing in and breathing out. Let there be a sense of the entire body breathing in and the entire body breathing out. As every cell is receiving oxygen. Receiving oxygen and ease, healing, and the exhalation, let go. Letting go. Letting go what doesn't belong. 
whatever that may be. So breathing in ease, breathing in light, breathing in wellness. And exhaling pain, exhaling shame or guilt. With each exhalation, notice your body relaxing a little bit more. And then now even let go of any awareness of the breath. Allow yourself to just rest into this moment where there is nothing to do or nothing to be. I'll take three more breaths. And let each one begin become a little deeper. It's a gentle awakening, returning, consolidating body and mind, and heart space. Maybe wiggling fingers and toes. You'll bend up your knees and place the feet on the mat. You just rock the knees gently from side to side. And then you'll roll all the way over onto one side. And just pause here, pausing on your side. And then coming all the way up into a seated position. However, that is comfortable for you. Let's bring our palms together. Anna Christina, thank you for practicing with us. Namaste. And I will turn off the camera. Okay.